Nova Scotia, the second smallest province in Canada, is known for its serene and picturesque landscapes. Situated on the eastern edge of the Canadian mainland, it is a peninsula with a stunning coastline that boasts charming fishing harbors, sandy beaches, lush islands, and numerous other breathtaking destinations. The province offers diverse scenery, ranging from the misty Atlantic Ocean in the southeast to the tidal salt marshes found along its western Bay of Fundy region and Gaelic Highlands located in Cape Breton to the north. Nova Scotia, located in these coastal regions, experiences a pleasant and refreshing climate characterized by breezy conditions and occasional rainfall. The summer season is marked by abundant sunshine, However, fog can frequently occur due to weather patterns. In winter, snowfall is also common in this area. Halifax serves as both the capital and the largest city. Back in 1604, Samuel de Champlain and other French settlers established Port Royal in the Annapolis Valley, creating the first long-standing European settlement above Florida. This area was known as Acadia, which now encompasses all French settlements in the Maritimes. Discover the most captivating destinations in this intriguing province with our compilation of the premier highlights in Nova Scotia. Number 9. Cabot Trail, stretching along the northwest coast of Cape Breton Island and Cape Breton Highlands National Park, is a picturesque 300-kilometer drive. This coastal route boasts stunning views, where the majestic mountains of Nova Scotia meet the Gulf of St. Lawrence in a breathtaking display. With its cliffs, beaches, scenic viewpoints, and winding roads, there are endless opportunities for capturing memorable photographs along this highly sought-after motorcycle tour route. The route is dotted with numerous small communities and tourist destinations, offering a range of local artisans and distinctive shops. Engaging in hiking activities is a prevalent choice among visitors. Additionally, there are abundant exceptional hiking trails to explore, allowing tourists the option to either embark on their own adventure or enlist the services of a knowledgeable local guide for an enhanced experience. The Cabot Trail's unofficial starting and ending point is in Bad Deck, which is known as the birthplace of Alexander Graham Bell, the inventor of the telephone. Many people choose to drive the Cabot Trail during autumn because they can enjoy the beautiful array of fall colors that can be seen throughout the region. Number 8. Peggy's Cove Located approximately 43 kilometers southwest of Halifax, Peggy's Cove is a charming fishing village that transports visitors to a bygone era. The famous Peggy's Point Lighthouse, known as one of Canada's most iconic lighthouses, stands proudly on the misty Atlantic coast, serving as a marker for a treacherous point. The lighthouse is surrounded by rugged granite cliffs buffeted by crashing waves, making it imperative for tourists to exercise utmost care while exploring the rocky shoreline. The shoreline of this bustling fishing village is adorned with fishing wharves and boathouses, while the meandering road is graced with vibrant historic houses and art galleries. One notable gallery is the Degarth Gallery and Museum, which showcases an impressive assortment of artwork by William E. Degarth, a Finnish immigrant who developed a deep admiration for Peggy's Cove and its fishers in his early years. If you have some spare time to explore the area, you can embark on a self-guided sightseeing adventure along the Coastal Heritage Trail. This trail has been hailed as a unique museum without walls that showcases the rich history of the region. Don't miss out on top attractions such as Peggy's Cove Preservation Area, Pioneer Cemetery, Bishop's Park, and numerous other historically significant sites like SS Atlantic Heritage Park. The park features a museum showcasing numerous artifacts and providing details about the ship's unfortunate fate and its crew. Additionally, there is a pleasant boardwalk and a memorial on site. Expect large numbers of tourists, particularly around the lighthouse, as this location is highly sought after for day trips from Halifax. Number 7. Cape Breton Highlands National Park The Cape Breton Highlands National Park situated in the northern region of Cape Breton Island, boasts the highest peaks in Nova Scotia. Covering over 950 square kilometers, 
It entices nature enthusiasts with its diverse landscapes. From stunning coastlines featuring beaches and cliffs to lush inland forests and rivers, the park offers a plethora of opportunities for hiking, camping, and family adventures. The National Park offers exceptional opportunities for observing wildlife. The Cabot Trail Scenic Drive, which runs through the park, allows visitors to spot moose, beaver, eagles, and deer frequently. Within the park, you will discover the Skyline Trail, a picturesque path constructed with a wooden boardwalk that is both easy to traverse and visually appealing. From this vantage point overlooking the Gulf of St. Lawrence, visitors have the opportunity to observe whales swimming below while simultaneously indulging in captivating panoramic vistas of the rugged coastline. Located just beyond the boundaries of the park, Shetekomp is a charming Acadian town that offers an array of delightful shops, galleries, and dining options. One must not miss visiting Les Trois Pignons, a distinctive museum and visitor center that showcases an impressive assortment of ancient artifacts and traditional hand-hooked rugs. Be sure to make a stop in this town as it truly has something for everyone to enjoy. Number 6. Halifax Citadel National Historic Site Perched above downtown Halifax, this elevated stronghold remains a vestige of the British military presence during the 18th century. Construction of the Halifax Citadel National Historic Site began in 1856, but it never witnessed any actual combat engagements. Currently, the preserved Warren-like tunnels, powder magazines, and barracks are open to visitors who can embark on guided tours led by living history guides. These tours offer reenactments and feature fortress guards dressed in traditional British red uniforms. Visitors can witness musket salutes and enjoy the enchanting sound of bagpipes during their visit. Citadel Hill is a well-known destination for its stunning views of the city and harbor. Along this road, you'll also come across the Old Town Clock, originally commissioned by Prince Edward in 1803. Number 5. Maritime Museum of the Atlantic The museum's exhibits and displays vividly depict the rich maritime history of the province and the North Atlantic, offering visitors a glimpse into how the sea has influenced all aspects of local life. Through a combination of photographs and personal accounts from survivors, impressive multimedia presentations detail the tragic Halifax explosion in 1917 when two ships collided in the harbor. The museum boasts an extensive collection of over 200 model ships, ranging from historical sailing vessels to modern ocean liners, cargo ships, and naval vessels. Additionally, there is a section within the museum, housed in a former ship chandlery, where various supplies were purchased to equip ships for their journeys at sea. Halifax played a crucial role in the rescue operations after the sinking of the Titanic, and there is a comprehensive display showcasing these efforts. The exhibit features various artifacts that were found at sea during the rescue mission and subsequently recovered. These items provide valuable insights into the story of the ship and its passengers. The museum also houses various watercraft docked in Halifax Harbor, such as Queen Victoria's Royal Barge, which was generously donated to the museum by Queen Elizabeth II. Another noteworthy vessel is the HMCS Sackville, a Corvette-class ship famous for its ability to maneuver through turbulent seas. This ship played a vital role during the Battle of the Atlantic, ensuring that essential convoys reached Britain and sustained its survival. As part of museum admission, visitors can tour the CSS Acadia, which has been retired after many years of service in charting the ocean floor in the Arctic and North Atlantic. Number 4. Halifax Harbor Stretching along the Halifax Harbor, a wooden promenade connects the Canadian Museum of Immigration at Pier 21 to the Maritime Museum of the Atlantic and various dining establishments. Constantly bustling with activity, tugboats, sailboats, and naval ships gracefully navigate in and out while offering captivating vistas that extend toward Dartmouth on one side and George Island located in the middle of the channel on the other. This is the location where you can locate the ferry that goes to Dartmouth. 
Additionally, there are numerous options available if you're interested in embarking on a sightseeing cruise in the harbor or participating in whale-watching activities. Close to the ferry terminal, there is a collection of historic buildings that have been restored and a pedestrian zone that remains vibrant throughout both day and night. This area is filled with restaurants that frequently showcase live maritime bands and consistently serve fresh seafood dishes. The Halifax Seaport Farmer's Market, established in 1750, is the oldest farmer's market in the Americas. Visitors can explore a wide range of shopping options and indulge in delicious snacks at this bustling market. Open daily, it offers a variety of locally sourced produce, freshly caught seafood, and handmade goods. Additionally, visitors can enjoy an array of prepared food items that showcase the region's culinary delights. Number 3. Lunenburg The hilly town of Lunenburg is adorned with vividly painted historic buildings, the majority of which date back to the 18th and 19th centuries. These original structures have been repurposed into charming inns and bed and breakfasts, contributing to the unique character of the community. Notably, Lunenburg is recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its preservation of these architectural treasures. Lunenburg's historical significance was solidified when it emerged as one of the first hubs for shipbuilding. The Blue Nose Schooner, which was constructed in this town in 1921, gained widespread recognition by triumphing over numerous international races before tragically sinking near the shores of Haiti. Today, visitors can catch a glimpse of the Blue Nose 2 replica moored at the port, alongside other fishing boats and a schooner on display at the Fisheries Museum of the Atlantic. The port remains bustling along the waterfront as ships continue to dock at the piers and fishermen unload their daily catches. Number 2. Annapolis Royal Historic Gardens the Annapolis Royal Historic Gardens stands as a top-tier exhibition of gardens in North America, boasting 10 acres of meticulously designed and skillfully cultivated historical and horticultural beds. Within the Rose Garden, a vast array of 2,000 bushes is artfully placed amidst pathways adorned with lush green lawns. Meanwhile, the Governor's Garden replicates the planting style and flora from the 1740s era. There is a dedicated section that showcases demonstration plots featuring contemporary methods and plants. Additionally, there is a winter garden that specifically selects plants based on their bark, stem shape, or overall form to enhance their appeal during the winter season. At the rear of the garden, the pathway provides a view of the river's edges. The gardens are frequently chosen as a wedding venue, which means you might need to navigate around a joyful couple and proud parents. Annapolis Royal boasts another notable historic site known as the Fort Anne National Historic Site. Constructed by the French in 1643 and later seized by the British during the 1750s, this attraction showcases its rich history. Although only two structures remain, namely an 18th century gunpowder magazine and officer's barracks, the remarkable walls and ramparts have been well preserved over time. Number 1. Halifax Public Gardens The Halifax Public Gardens, established in 1867, hold the distinction of being the oldest Victorian gardens on the North American continent. Recognized as an official National Historic Site, these gardens offer a captivating glimpse into their historical and horticultural significance through a guided tour that spans approximately one hour. Visitors can freely explore these enchanting grounds and may even have the opportunity to attend various public or private events held within its picturesque surroundings. During the spring season, the gardens come alive with vibrant displays of tulips, daffodils, and irises. Magnolia and cherry trees are also in their full blossoms, creating a picturesque scene. As June arrives, azaleas and rhododendrons add to the floral spectacle. In the later months of summer, visitors can enjoy dahlias, peonies, and roses that beautifully line the carefully designed pathways throughout the gardens. In November, there is still a range of vibrant colors to be found, 
even though the information desk and park cafe run by the Friends of the Public Gardens will be closed by the end of October. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other recent videos from 10 Minutes Travel, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.